Hi guys, hi, welcome back to my channel. Today just coming to you to show you uh, my top 5 handbag and top 5 accessories by Louis Vuitton. So, I mean, I just want to mention that these are not my top 5 favorite handbags and favorite accessories. I have just a kind of way how to collect them and a system. I have like a system how I collect them and I just want to show you that so it's like a recommendation. I would recommend you to pick up um, this kind of um, style of bag to start your collection. Just like a tip. So, um, but let's let's say it's a top five handbag. So I just want to start you that um, I always would have five kind of style handbag in my collection. And the one, the first one would be a hand handle handbag. So at this point, I just choose my Speedy 30 in Damier Eben print, which it's not my top over favorite handbag. I mean, I love my Speedy. It was also my first hem handbag by Louis Vuitton, so that's why it will never leave my collection. But as you know, guys, I just got my Speedy Bandoulière in Empreinte, and, and I'm really so in love with this one. So but however I just found that um, I should have a hand handle handbag, I mean a handbag to carry by hand and I found the the speedy it's always a classy piece to have in the collection. And again it doesn't matter which print, which color, which size and, and even with style. If it's this one, if it's a speedy or if it's another kind of hand handle handbag. But this is the way I just like to have so the speedy, I just like the speedy to have it as a hand handle bag. So let's move on to the second to the second one. So the, the second bag I always should have or I always want to have in my collection is a tote bag. I really love tote bags and it doesn't matter again which kind of print. But at this point I just choose my Neverfull MM in the monogram. So I found myself using this always. Because you can, I mean, it's a, it's a big haul. I just have inside some air papers. Uh, it's a big, it, it's a big haul. You can, you can um, put many things inside. It's light and it's a classy piece. I mean, the Neverfull will always be a, a super classy um, tote bag. So I think to have a tote bag in the collection, it's, it's nice. There you go. And again, also here, it doesn't matter which kind of print and which kind of uh, tote style. It could even be the Luminous, which is also a tote, but it's more in the pricer, um, in the pricer level, since it's a full leather handbag. Let's move on. My third handbag would, um, my third kind, my third style of handbag would be a hobo style bag. And now I choose here my Galliera PM in Damiazur. I really love this bag, I love this kind of hobo style, I have all the holo, hobo style bag and I love all of them. Um, it's just like if you have to have only 5 handbags, uh, a hobo should be in your collection. And this one is the Galera PM in Dami Azur. I didn't use it this so much, so I just got it one year ago and yeah, I started to use it last spring and summer. Yeah, there you go, this is my third. Um, style of handbag in my collection. Then the the fourth one would be a crossbody bag. I believe a crossbody bag it's it's nice. It's always nice to have in your collection. You are hands free. You can do your shopping and yeah, it's another kind of style. So and now here I just used I just choose my Alma Bibi in the Verni and the color. This color is the rose velour. So it's a kind of pinkish. It's kind of a nude rose like a beige nude rose color and yeah as you can see you can you have here the strap to use it as a crossbody bag and you even could use it uh, by the handle by elbow or by hand so I really like my Alma BB of course I have also other um, crossbody bags um, if, again it doesn't matter which one but I think in every collection you should have a crossbody one there you go lastly I choose as I as the top five or as a fifth style of handbag, I choose my Eva clutch. I think a clutch should always be in every collection, and yeah, I choose now the Eva in Damier Ben. 
it's really handy, it's nice and this one comes also with a strap to use it as a crossbody clutch there you go guys so it's just a tip to give you how to start your collection and if you start and if you add this five kind of style to your collection then you are covered because you have a hand handle style of bag, you have a toad, you have a hobo, you have a crossbody bag and then a clutch, perfect. I believe then you have the perfect um, handbag, handbag collection. So move on to the accessories. Um, the first accessory I would recommend or I would always add to my collection is the mini pochette. And let's use now the mini pochette in Damia Band, of course, to match my Speedy. My Speedy 30 in Damia Band. I mean, as you know, inside the Speedy you have a D-ring, so you can attach the mini pochette to your D-ring inside the bag and use this one as a wallet or to store your keys, your phone, or maybe use it as a small cosmetic bag. However, so this one is really nice to have it in the Speedy. I think these two um, should be always together. <laughs> there you go. So the next piece, the next accessory I would recommend or always have in my collection is of course the pochette accessoire in... Um, yeah, it's the pochette accessoire. And now I choose the one in the monogram. Why I choose the monogram? Because I have now here my uh, Neverfull MM in the monogram and I believe that this one goes very well with the Neverfull. Um, it's a perfect size to also store inside your Neverfull and this one comes also with the leather strap and here with the kind of clip and you can hook this one also inside the Neverfull on the Dewing. And then let's say uh, you use your, mm, your tote during the day and then if you just if you just choose to go for lunch um, quickly and you don't want to carry the whole bag with you you can use the pochette accessoire uh, to store your key your wallet and yeah so i think that these two goes also always has to be always together there you go so the next accessory i would recommend would be a cosmetic pochette and now I choose the one in Damien Azur. Again, it doesn't matter which print, it doesn't matter which size or from which brand. I choose now the cosmetic pochette in uh, Damien Azur to go with my beautiful Galliera, the hobo bag. So I have, uh, I have always an accessory to go with, with a bag, actually. So um, the cosmetic pochette in the PM size is a perfect size for everyday use. I store my entire makeup, which I use to touch up my which I need to touch up my makeup inside this pochette. I could even use this one during vacation as a makeup bag, of course, but many, pe many people use this one also as a clutch, which I think the idea is brilliant. So there you go. This is my third piece or third accessory I would recommend in an accessory collection. So the next one has to be a wallet. Again, it doesn't matter which wallet. I choose now the Emily wallet in monogram with the red interior. There you go guys. And this wallet, I mean this wallet is really one of my favorite wallets. It's so handy, it's uh, light, it's handy, it's thin, enough to carry even in a EVA clutch and then you still have space for all the things. So a wallet, it's always has, nice to have, it will um, stay with you for a long period. You, this, is one, this is one of the pieces you really carry with you every day. So if you invest in a good wallet, um, you will get something good for this. So um, here my Emily wallet. And then lastly I would always have a key pouch, clay pochette, and this one has to be now the Damia Azur one. Again it doesn't matter which print or which style. There is also a multicolor one, a vernis, which is a bit higher than this one. I prefer the smaller one, so the canvas one, because it seems like you can store many more cards inside, so it doesn't get that bulky like a clay pochette in vernis, let's say like that. But however, you can use this one uh, to store your keys, you can use this one to store your coins, your bills, you can use it as a small wallet, in, you can use it even as a charm, I just want to show you how it looks like a charm, and then here it's the it's a hook. There you go. I just open this one and attach it. We'll attach it to the ring here on my galliera. 
And there you go, guys. You have a beautiful, a beautiful um, charm to your bag. So it's also like a two-in-one. And I mostly use my key pouches to store my kind of coupons, my coins. Um, not really my keys since I'm using the six ring key holder, but if I wouldn't have the six ring key holder, I would use definitely, definitely this one as a key pouch. So there you go guys, this was actually my top 5 handbag and top 5 accessory. Again, it's not, it's not like that these are my top 5 favorite handbag and favorite accessories. These are the top 5 kind of style of handbag I would ever or always have in my collection and the five top 5 accessory I also would always have in my collection. And I think it's a, also a good way to, to, to tell you, um, to give you this as a tip how to start to collect or how to start your collection. Yeah, there you go guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Um, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'm so happy that I got many new subscribers. Welcome, by the way. And yeah, so stay tuned for many other videos. And um, don't hesitate to ask me in the comments or in the question box below if you have any questions. Uh, please just keep in mind that I not always have the time to go back to you uh, fastly or quickly or... Yeah, you know what I mean? I'm... I try to do my best to answer you, to respond to your comment. So, wish you a good day, a good evening and see you soon on my next video. Bye bye!